So you have a stack of documents, how do you add them to the request list? In addition to these video tutorials, there are some quick tips on the page, such as this one. How do I attach documents? So if you need the tip, click the link to see it. At any point in time, you can see how many documents you still need to collect. It's displayed right here at the top of the list. The list is separated into different categories. Click on the arrows at the right to expand one. We have expanded the income section. So we can see all the income related documents required. There are two methods for attaching files to line items. The first method is to drag and drop it from your computer. Open your file explorer window. Select the file you want to attach and drag it from your file explorer to the specific line item you want to add it to on your document request list. When it is successfully uploaded, you will see the check mark on the left turns green and it is marked complete. Let's do that again. This time, we will take both our interest statements and add them to a single line. So you can see, you can attach multiple files to a single line when you need to. If you need to see the files you attach to a line item, click on the paper clip icon. This will show you the files you attached earlier. If you click on the file name, it will download the file, and if you click on the trash can icon, you will delete that file. Selecting a quick note will also mark an item as complete. We'll learn about quick notes in a different video lesson. I have collapsed all of the sections for the moment. At the bottom, you will notice a general section. Instead of adding each file to a separate line item, you can add them here. Additionally, you can upload documents that you want to send us that were not specifically on the list. We will add these documents using the second method for attaching files, which is to use the upload icon. That will open your file explorer window on your computer for you to select the necessary files. Adding files to the bottom creates a new section labeled uncategorized. That wraps up this video lesson. Join us in the next one to learn about quick notes.